Hi everyone and welcome along. With Halloween fast approaching, let's paint some watercolour witches potions. So grab your paints and let's get started. So this is a great opportunity to practice uh, some glass painting as well as having a bit of Halloween fun. So we're going to paint some potions and we're going to make some potion bottles. So I'm drawing some pencil line bottles. Uh, so we've got a sort of two brackets at the top here that can be our, uh, the neck of the bottle and then we'll put a stopper in. And around the base I'll just put a little extra lip around the base there. And then I'll do another one and I'll do this one with a slightly sort of different different bottle rim. So we'll still start with that and we'll make this one a little bit more angular. I think this is the perfect opportunity to not worry about things being completely symmetrical like that's not that symmetrical. But I think these bottles lend themselves to being a little bit wonky and then There we go, we'll have a have a stopper like that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm going to paint these like really loosely, except I am gonna put a, a little label over both of them. But if I get some large-ish brushes, so I've got a size eight here and a size six, and let's find some fun colours. So imperial purple will be great. Let's let's do a purpley pink one first. So what I want to do, I've got permanent rose here, is paint this bottle very sort of loosely and sploshily. And I'm going to do that by I've got a size two brush here, and I'm going to paint in sort of a very very sort of loose washes capturing little bits of unpainted space and I also think oh my buff titanium is already a bit pink from a previous project the buff titanium is going to be a great sort of slightly aging kind of bottle shape here as well and I'm sort of going to purposefully start to sort of go outside the lines a little bit. Because I want these bottles to have a very magical feel and I'll explain what I'm doing in a second um, whilst we just we just sort of get this painted in and just create a bit of sort of magical chaos here. Because the idea is really, I don't want to have pencil lines there too much. Um, we're gonna rub them out as soon as we can, but what I am going to do is I'm gonna splatter Splatter some purple. I'm gonna splatter some pink as well. Just sort of on the diagonal like that. And then I quite like the idea if I take a rigger brush and just swoosh it. out the edges and create just a little bit of magic coming out of the out of the bottle and then just with a wet size 2 brush I'm just going to stretch it a bit further
To be honest, it doesn't necessarily have to be a rigger brush, but I want the magic eking out of the bottle. And then for our other one, I'm going to do some greens and some turquoise colours. So I've got cobalt turquoise here and sap green. Maybe a bit of green gold would be good as well actually. So you're not worrying too much about going inside the lines but do try and leave some unpainted space in there. Ooh, whoops. And I'm just avoiding the, um, the label and a little bit of buff titanium. I think this would be a really fun one to paint with the family. If your kids are sort of excited about Halloween, why not do a few sort of Halloween crafts in between eating all the all the sweets? And we won't forget splatters. Lovely. Okay, so we need to let these dry, but what we can do whilst we're waiting is we can paint in some corks. So a bit of yellow ochre and burnt sienna. And if you notice how I'm leaving little bits of unpainted space, it just helps <clears throat> create a very loose feeling of roundness. And then I'm also going to use, oh dear, Crumble's barking. <laughs> Sorry everyone. Right, we'll just get these painted in and then we will see what it looks like once it's dry. This is buff titanium on the label. So now these are dry and I've replaced my paint brushes with some fine line pens. I've got some new color fast fine liners um, for, called the Pigma Micron pen and they don't run with watercolor but even though we've already painted so that's not a problem. But I thought this would be a really fun opportunity to do a little bit of a line and wash. Or, I mean, sort of reverse coloring in, but we we pretty much knew what we were drawing when we began. So I'm gonna really enjoy just placing in a, a line drawing over the top of the bottle. And um, we have got our pencil lines from the beginning, so that's good. Oh, these pens are nice. But that's why I didn't mind the idea of um, the idea of going over the lines because it didn't really matter. So just with a series of lines and little bits of shading, a little bit of hatching like this, and cross hatching which is when you go across it like that. And then of course we've got the labels, so I thought it might be quite fun is to make these quite characterful 
and then we can write on them if we want. So yeah, just enjoy scribbling in and sort of making the most of the little bits of unpainted space that are there. And then we will do some drawing on the uh, on the labels. I think they look really really fun. So I'm going to put in. Now I would recommend, especially if you're writing a long word or, or a sentence or something, to definitely mark out. your lettering before you put it in because you never quite know when you're starting off if you're gonna if you're gonna make it what we just about did there so for this one let's say There we go. And you can make up any kind of font you like. I quite like doing a sort of slightly wobbly, old worldy one just by sort of putting little hats on each end of each letter and doing thin and thick and thin on the letters. I think this would make a really cool uh, Halloween card. Maybe like if someone's got a birthday around Halloween, I think you could do a really fun bottle maybe with a, a Halloween birthday potion or something, something like that. I think that could be really cool. So we're going to just rub out the pencil now that's left and we'll see what we're left with. And there we have our witches potion bottles. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that one. And you can find plenty more seasonal content on the rest of our YouTube channel, so have a look around. I want to say a massive thank you to our patrons for their support, because that support enables us to keep creating videos like these that everyone can enjoy. And if you enjoyed it, then hit the like button and comment below to let me know how you got on with that one. And of course, if you never want to miss another video, then hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell, and we'll see you again next time. Bye.